on the global side of Elcom Battle, maintenance will take place on Sunday, February 13th. So that's this coming Sunday at 6 p.m. You will not be able to log in or do anything in the game until after, looks like midnight on the 14th. If you're wondering what this maintenance is for, it's for the Chaotic Future World campaign. It's the second part of this campaign right here. In the first part, we got the Dokkan Fest, Tech, Android 17, and 18. All right, so if we take a look at Tech, Android 17, and 18 here, they were released on the 30th of November, 2021 on the JP side of the game. This Gohan right here, he was released on the 16th of December, so 16 days later, this LR Gohan and Trunks Youth Future. It's safe to say that this maintenance notice is for this guy to drop on the global side. I'm 99% sure this is what's dropping after the maintenance and maybe not straight after the maintenance because as you can see this was 16 days later maybe they're just doing a maintenance to get this ready to drop a couple days after the 14th after the maintenance ends we'll probably see lr future gohan and future trunks youth around probably around the 15th or 16th of february possibly the 17th i doubt they'll wait that long after the maintenance but we'll probably see them here after the maintenance around that time uh, their leader skill is Connected Hope or Bond of Master and Disciple, Category Key plus 4, and HP Attack and Defense plus 170, or 150%, not 170, 150%. Their Super Attack, regular Super Attack is raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage to enemy. Ultra Super Attack is greatly raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to enemy. Their Passive Skill, Attack and Defense plus 170%, or 150%. I don't know why I'm saying 170%. Probably because this whole 7 anniversary celebration thing that might have to do with it but anyway so that's pretty good uh and what are their stats oh yeah no that that's that's decent that's definitely decent if they're at max stats that's definitely decent and then they randomly change key spheres of a certain type agl excluded to agl key spheres when hp is 58 percent or more that's a good condition right there that's actually a a good condition i mean they could have done without the hp restriction but the fact that you know you're gonna have hp above 58 percent more often than below 58 percent it's a better condition than than that so um plus an additional defense plus 58 percent chance of performing a critical hit and reduces damage received by eight percent with five or more key spheres obtained so to do a critical hit a critical hit chance by eight percent and then reduces damage received no 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 no. it's just chance of performing a critical hit and then reduces damage received by eight percent with five or more key spheres obtained okay let's see where else this goes plus an additional attack plus 80 uh, 85 58 percent i cannot get my number straight today chance of performing a critical hit and reduces damage received by eight a percent with five or more agl key spheres obtained so that's on top of the previous effect so this chance of performing a critical hit correct me if i'm wrong i believe this eight percent goes with the damage reduces reducing damage and also the critical hit chance so if i'm reading this right his critical hit chance goes up by 16 percent as well as his uh, damage reduction being go going up by 16% so far. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but I believe that's that's what's correct in this situation if I'm reading that right. So, and then launches an additional super attack with eight or more key spheres obtained. It's pretty good. I like this unit. I like his passive. And then the exchange condition is can be activated when HP is 58% or less starting from the third turn from the start of battle. And then the exchange here, it's all attack. I don't like that. Is there any, do they have any, is it just exchange? That's the only thing it does. It doesn't heal or anything. Nope. Okay. Um, oh, whoa, hold up, hold up. Plus 258%. Okay. Key plus eight for five turns from start of turn. This has super battle road written all over it. And then launches an additional super attack with eight or more key spheres obtained. Foresees enemy super attack when HP is 58% or less. This condition would be bad, except that he actually 
is already at 58% or less when he exchanges. I like that because it literally, yeah, this, this is looking pretty good. And then revives with 85% HP recovered when the character attacking in the same turn is KO'd once only. So he has a revive as well. I mean, this Gohan's looking good. I didn't, I didn't take a look at him when he dropped on JP. Now that I'm taking a look at him, I'm liking this Gohan. What about you guys? What about you, everyone? I wanna know how you guys are feeling about him. Let me know in the comments below for sure. And then the rest of his passive, key plus five, defense plus 58% and reduces damage received by 58% for the rest of the battle after the character revived during battle. It's not bad. I'm impressed with this kit. Ooh, okay. It's a double rate banner. And you get Kai's, and you get Kai's. I might have to spend some stones on this now. I might have to. I might have to get some sales. Wow, a double rates banner. Cause I really, really like his kit. He's looking like a really good unit. I honestly haven't seen any showcases of him. None whatsoever. So I don't know how good he is. I mean, it doesn't change everything. I'm not gonna spend a huge amount of stones on here, but I wasn't gonna spend any. Okay, so if it comes out on global, because global has these ticket sales right here that this is showing right here. I'm hoping when they drop on global, most likely after the maintenance, that they'll have these tickets for sale. Thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all. Until next time. Bye, y'all.